How's it going everyone? It's Herb from Aussie Bogan Tech. Just doing a quick video about the updates for the uh, BIOS for the ASUS X370 Prime Pro. Um, there's been a few updates just recently. We have the BIOS 1201 and just recently in the last couple of days is version 3203. Um, I was running 0902 originally uh, and then I updated to the uh, 1001 BIOS and I found that incredibly unstable. I had multiple crashes uh, just trying to set fan curves and it seemed to be not as good as an overclocker. So I tried the 1201 because of improved stability in the um, notes for it. So I went to BIOS 1201. I had um, quite a few problems with 1201 as well. It was crashing in BIOS for no apparent reason and didn't seem to be quite as stable with the overclock as well. So I ended up reverting back to 0812, now running that one. Just recently, in the last couple of days, a new version has come out, 3203. This one has an update to the Angus profile, which is the AGESA, um, which is like a bootstrap program. It's meant to uh, be an improvement for new and up and coming processors, which is an interesting thing. Um, since from all the research I've done online, a few people that have updated to the version 3203 have been having, been having problems with it and have been having uh, problems when reverting back to previous older stable versions. So at the moment, my recommendation is to either stick with uh, 0902 or 0812. Both of these have the Aussie Bogan tick of approval. They have uh, quite good overclocks and I'll have a little bit of a video at the end of this uh, showing some of the uh, overclocks I've been managed to get with those biases. But um, they're only mild overclocks. I am capable of higher ones, but uh, why pump that much voltage through your CPU? Well, this is uh, not the latest BIOS for the X370 ASUS board. It's the uh, second latest, the 1001 BIOS. It um, just been running it on OCCT for an hour now. Got up to a max temperature of about 67 degrees and uh, was not stable at my original overclock. Had to knock it down to a 3.9 gigahertz overclock for it to even be stable um, and I had to mess with the line load calibration, drop it down to line load calibration 2 and the power wattage to 120% because uh, with this new BIOS of the 1001 BIOS it seems to be bumping up the load line calibration so load line calibration level 3 seemed to be a little bit too high was boosting the CPU voltage a little bit too much so I dropped it back down to line load like line load calibration level two. Um, now let's try what the uh, the the latest BIOS. Is. Well, here we go. We're giving it a stress test. Even though it seemed to be crashing when I was messing with the fans, it seems fairly stable here. Got a uh, CPU-Z stress test going for a little while now. Sitting at about 69 degrees C. Sitting at a steady about uh, 1.41 volts on the CPU. Spiked up to 1.44 at one point, but it's mainly just sitting about the 1.41. It's pretty high voltage for such a low, um, low overclock, but I didn't win the silicon lottery with my 1800X. Unlike a lot of people that got their normal 1700s, I have a little bit of 1800X regret, but it is what it is. Uh, I was getting some strange readings when I first loaded up CPU ZZ. Uh, it was like glitching out. I think it was just CPU Z being an idiot. It was popping up to 
volts according to CPUZ but OCCT didn't see any of that just CPUZ saw it so I'm assuming it was a glitch it seemed to go away when I reloaded CPUZ if this video has been at all helpful please like and subscribe um, any relevant information you may need will be in the description below just click on the more information bit at the bottom of the video and you'll be going to get some links um, have a nice day. Bye.